Hello everyone, uh, this uh, video clip is about a very old piece of technology that was used in the late 1980s, early 1990s. Uh, this is a General Electric DES key loader. What this device does is uh, you are able to uh, create and transfer uh, uh, digital encryption keys inside uh, portable and mobile radios uh, such as uh, these uh, GE MPA uh, portable radios and uh, you're able to load uh, about seven keys in each of those uh, radios. So how you would go ahead and create keys, you would press the power button and then you would press the load button. Uh, of course, if there are no keys, it will say key erased. But uh, since I already played a little bit with it uh, today, uh, I already loaded keys into it. But I will show you how to create a key. You would press the load button here. And then, of course, this is bank one. I would select the key space number one. And then I would have the cursor blank. And then telling me that I would be able to enter uh, eight uh, digits in hexadecimal format. So this, I would be, let's say I will enter a random key. Of course, usually you would have the crypto officer in your police, uh, uh, in your police department create the keys beforehand. And uh, of course also, you, there's a parity check on the keys. That means that you cannot re-enter like all uh, ones and or zeros. You have to follow uh, a certain, uh, uh, the, the key loader checks for what you have entered to make sure that you're not entering uh, trivial uh, things. So I've entered two halves of the keys per screen. So the first half of my key would be this. And if I press the Alt button again, I'd be able to enter this. Usually this number will only appear once when you enter the key, when you generate the key or input the key into the crypto, uh, the key loader. So this key would uh, be usually written down on a piece of paper and put in a safe place and only accessible to the crypto officers. Usually not even the uh, police officers have access to the keying material for the, the radios because they're just users. They do not generate uh, the keys. So how I would go ahead and once I have uh, written down those half numbers, I would press the uh, the X, uh, EXC uh, button and then it would give me a key load key uh, uh, message. And then I am able to load this particular key inside the radio. And of course, if I want to delete, let's say I want to clear the radio, I would have a zero ice key here that would enable me to zero the key that uh, I have created. So I'm able to say, okay, I want to zero key number two. I would press EXC and then I would, I would be able to erase the keys. Of course, this device would not be kept in a patrol car or anywhere that is uh, that is uh, like in uh, where you would have like in a drawer or something. You would keep this very, very uh, in a very secure place because uh, basically your communication security depends on it. So you would either zeroize the keys after you are finished your operation or you will uh, put this in a safe place. So this is the end of my first clip. Next clip will show you how to load keys inside the radio itself.